Hey guys, it's Hydro Sam. So welcome back to another video. So this time I actually leveled up my Amos Bow to 80 and I finally got the right artifacts on Mona this time for this playthrough. Some things that I want to say, especially for the second half. The Frozen comp really depends on how much, on how optimal you can apply Frozen. So this team really depends on how much freeze time you can have on an enemy. The longer you keep on Frozen, the more effective you'll do with your DPS as far as with the crit rate. Because more crit rate equals more consistent crit damage. And of course if they're Frozen then they can't really hit you. So you're not even taking that much damage. But the few times that they do hit you, you have Diona there to heal you up with her ultimate. Also one thing to note is that Mona's auto attacks auto lock on that animal monster thing in the beginning. Which is just pretty nutty, honestly. And especially if he's frozen, thanks to Ganya's burst, you're just going to be almost always hitting your crit hits on that enemy. Which makes it just fun to bully him because I'm sure y'all hate the fact that he flies away and barely comes to the ground. Some things that I'm still working out are is getting used to the timing of putting Ganyu's E and Mona's E together. So that way they can be frozen at all times. Because really, with these kinds of enemies, especially especially the Fatui Assassin, you want to keep them frozen as long as possible. And when you want to get a big charge attack with Ganyu, well, you don't want to you don't want to interrupt you, especially if you have a low level Diana like me. So I find it where Mon if Mona's E is up, they'll constantly keep them frozen, especially if you have Ganyu's burst going on. And in that time that they're constantly frozen, you can get off a big charge attack with Ganyu. And then after that, the crowd will be reapplied with them thanks to the thanks to her charge attack, which you can switch back to Mona and keep on rinsing and repeating. I'm starting to figure out combos with this team comp that will keep them frozen more optimally so definitely in the future i will we'll be planning a little guide on how to play this team optimally because honestly this team is really fun like switching off of ganyu and mona is just having the best of both worlds and i highly suggest you try this out just at least once to see if you like it other than that just remember that you need to if you need to hit enemies that have geo shields just remember that you have to keep them frozen and auto attack with mona
hyperspace emulation written in the stars. Look at you, Bluetail. Thank you. 